see Ags on Sven is in a like a number four position, like a supportive Sven trying to enhance damage for a hero that already built base damage, but Ember's not one of those. Yeah, I guess if they wanted that, there's also the option of like the Magnus, which gives you the additional cleave as well. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I guess the other option is maybe Super does consider building more stats-based damage, something like a Butterfly, which also gives you that Flutter ability. Could be nice on Ember combined with the Wisp for Super Chase mode, but you know, in general, I guess you already have Warcry, you've got the remnants, you probably don't need the move speed, so... Uh, I guess it could just be a casual Sven. He's still a pretty good hero on his own, he gives you the plus armor to counter the swarm, obviously helps his teammates survive the Chronosphere, with Wisp at his side is incredibly tanky, and the one other thing that Sven provides which they did not have before, was the ability to clear out towers. Like, with War with God Strength and Warcry, you can just run up and start smacky buildings, and previously that was something none of these heroes mm -hmm. offered, so it kind of feels... A niche that like the rape king wouldn't offer you as much of. Yeah. Well, with that, let's uh, let's introduce our teams. Vici gave me leading this best of three, one to nothing. We got Black handling the spin. Fy will be your wisp on the Io. Uh, Super will be playing the Amber Spirit. Fenrir the Scarf Mage, and that leaves Ice 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 on the Elder Titan this time around. For IG, they'll go with a different strand. No more Tinker for them. June on the Centaur War Runner. Chuan will be handling the Chikiro. Four thirty, your face was void, so it looks like it'll be a dual lane mid. Faces for mm -hmm. We've seen a lot more dual lady in this patch already. Chizpoke on the Lich, and then in the safe lane, the Luo is the Weaver. Okay. No problem. Um, you know, the one thing that I'm noticing is that with these dual lanes, I feel like a lot of it has to do with the, the double rune spawn. It does seem like having that extra hero mid makes it much easier to secure not just one, but potentially two runes. I'm that wondering how that factors in the team's either. thinking. Be careful, my friends. <laughs> There's quite a squad waiting for you. Yeah, I'll just kind of poke his little snout out and then retreat out. So they secure the bounty rune. They also grab an invis rune for Luo. The double rune spawn going the way of IG. Two for good luck, if nothing else. So, um, the Sven Wisp combo obviously has a lot of kill potential. If the Chronosphere is ever on cooldown, then they're able to kind of go for the engagements. They're able to go in and get that Storm Hammer on a target after the relocate, pursue with the Worker Eye and Tether movement speed, and just run their targets down. But there are still some combos that can be waiting for them without the Chronosphere. We could still see the Ice Path or the Hoof Stomp making their day a little difficult. For now, a Super and FY are going to be taking up in the mid lane together. It looks like FY kind of wants to make his way towards the jungle, though. If he starts pulling independently and getting his own experience, then he's going to be able to get to level 6 that much more rapidly, and it'll also make it difficult for Chuan and Juno on the top lane. Huh, I'm surprised. He didn't even bother to do the double stack, which he did clear the tree for, and he was pretty much in perfect position. But instead, he just decides, I need to start pulling this play back directly. And it's not just that, it's like they have the perfect way to clear these decks. You can mm -hmm. spend later on, the Ember can do it quite easily, but they're just going to go on top for the first one. On a June, they go, Black will be there with the Storm Bolt, but the stop will actually be hitting two, not just the Scarf Mage, uh, and, but also the Sven, and as a result, June will make his way out. I meant to say that the other way around, not just the Sven, but also the Scarf Mage, who normally can avoid those sorts of things, but does get caught. I don't think they actually connected with the tether slow because of the fact that Black's attack speed was slowed and he was waiting for one more right click before he moved into position to connect with the tether and that gave enough time for the hoof stomp. Now the ice path will come through. It's just going to be some harassment though as FY has plenty of tangos, even the magic stick early to make sure that Black stays up. It's actually going to be a very hard heavy hero to actually bring down with the medic behind him. Man, look at this bottom lane. Ice 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 is having a group. Like, you look at the other Titan last game, wow. this time you get to 1v1 compared to the other Titan gets to duel or tri lane in game one. And man, the difference is stark. 11 CS. In the mid lane, it's 10 and 2 for Super. Already pulling ahead of 430's Void. One of his favorite heroes being used against it. But this Void went off on a double damage, so he's may swing around the other direction. 
Yeah, I think Chuan is kind of out of place on this top lane here. Like, I, I would definitely prefer to see him helping out the Weaver and maybe getting a little bit more zoning presence against the other Titan rather than just committing to this try and possibly being a target. They're going in. Black's going in hard for this one, but he gets caught by Stomp. A double edge, and I think he's gone it a bit too far. F5 will slowly try to heal him up. They continue chasing June. One more nuke would do it. Do they have that last, last bolt? Yeah, it's coming in. Auto attacks there as well. First blood going the way of Vic. A VG gaming is Invictus game. He tried to retreat out a secondary oh. store ball comes through. He got the mana. They played it just to the brink and end up coming out on top. FY I think gave him the stick charges there for the extra mana and uh -huh. that'll have that second storm ball. Small bits played by Black here is that he didn't salve the Wisp who was tethered to him, he salved himself, and so instead of getting both of them to full HP, he just gets himself. So, uh, wasn't fully thinking on that one, unfortunately, but still getting the two kills to start this off. It kind of shows the weakness of Lich in the early game in an aggressive tri -lane stance. He just doesn't do enough. The, the Frost Blast at level 1 in particular, and the right clicks, it's just not that contribution and contributional. I don't, in general, with this terrain change and this patch, like aggressive tri -lanes from the Radiant side, and I just really don't like them with the Lich, so uh, we already see some weaknesses here as VT just kind of outplay them, use the magic stick very effectively to bait with FY, and yeah, they pull ahead. Yeah, this could be a dual lane denying the Elder Titan, it could be trying to slow down the Ember. That said, the Ember has completely been turned on after 430 got the double damage rune. Now the CS is going 430's way, and he's got 9 denies to boot. What a difference one rune can make, and Lil also hitting his level 5, can spam his Sakuchi more often, and He's starting to do well, so their solos are doing well to make up for the fact that this tri -late is not. But they may lose more soon. Chase Bug's been caught out again. He's way too far out. As the Heather Soul can come through momentarily, Black will Warcry. He drives past June and Schwan to get this kill. He might end up going down. There's no tether to keep him alive. Just, just like running through the neighborhood, man. Getting bottles thrown at him as he goes. FY not tethers back, but he gets caught out. That overextension by Black now costing FY's life as well. And Fenrir looks to turn this, but slow down by dual breath, can't get in range for anything. Will June even end up going down? It looks like no. Well, maybe now with Black respawning. Now they have to retreat just at the right time. A Storm Bolt, another Arcane Bolt, they'll continue chasing all the bolts thrown on the Tron, <laughs> but... Oh, no great tether. timing from Black. Tether from FY. Oh man, he came from a long distance to get that one off. Yeah, and Black, now, he, mid. he Super waited nearly like killing off 430. 430 forced to blow it. Well, the, the Flame Guard, though, it forced Ferrari back. If the Flame Guard wasn't active, Ferrari wouldn't be this low on HP. He wouldn't have had to retreat. He still would have gotten a couple of He may go in, but there's no mod on Super. I think he's considering it as the Flame Guard ends. Oh. Could be perfect time. He needs a bash. Where's that bash? That's three points of time lock. Doesn't get a single one. Brutal. No. I mean, it's not that bad standing alone there, but yeah. Just didn't have the numbers going his way that time. <laughs> Now, this bottom lane was actually quite topsy-turvy. It really comes down to the fact that runes are guaranteed to spawn on both locations. Ice 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 was able to go to this bottle build and get a refill every two minutes so that he can keep his spam on the lane, use a lot of Astral Spirits, and uh, essentially like he won the, out the initial creep phase and Weaver caught up a ton, and now with this refill, ET is right back matched. And, and the, thing is, the thing is they're going aggressive tri lane, so the supports won't ever contest the bottom rune. And the Weaver can't because the lane's always pushed by the spirits. So, yep. uh, like you said, it's just guaranteed regen for him every minute. Or, sorry, every two minutes. It's, it's a lot. Yeah, it's really powerful, and it just makes it perfect for this particular situation. He gets another one, the Invis rune here. Not really going to surprise a Weaver to his death, but still um, just getting the refill and getting that extra potential. So, IG, I mean, they're doing okay in the mid lane now that ferrari kind of got that comeback swing but they're not suppressing the ember spear they're not suppressing the other titan they're just trying to stop this wisp from getting level six and although that is accomplished it's at what cost i also want to mention that 430 he made a long journey bottom after seeing the rune taken top and he didn't get either one so he's thwarted on both counts doesn't have a bottle but was probably just hoping for you know a regen a haste burn something to get him back in the game a bit he's still farming fine but Obviously disappointed is that's a good timing window for Void to get a solo kill uh, right when he hits level 6, but now Super has withstood the aggression, has full HP, and he might even be the one on harassment duty. IG and Chizbug and Tron, 
Team CH did smoke and head all the way bottom, but they didn't find an opening at all. Yeah, it's actually the fact that Ice's Ice had that Invisorian bottle. They don't have any detection. There was no way to get that kill, so they just had to let it lie and uh, waste the smoke. They were waking their way all the way back top. Just a lot of unfortunate time. At least they get a sacrifice in the meantime. Tuan moves up to level four, and now he's going back down to the bottom lane where he could have been this entire game, but uh, he made the decision to commit to the aggro try. It had some value in getting kills, but uh, I don't think it accomplished as much as they wanted to in this landing phase. And you see, like, yeah, he's level 4 at this point, but a normally a Lich and a dual lane will be very close to level 6, and certainly level 5 at this point, if he's just constantly denying creeps. Uh, and his lane's not getting, you know, like, 20 denies put up against it. Mm -hmm. So, it might look like he's doing okay for levels, but for Lich, he should be ahead, and he's not. That is a problem. They do still have the Chain Frost Chronosphere combo, though. Yeah, That's they something they can always turn this game around. They'll silence June, and now begin to throw the nukes at him. Tethering the spin, the war cry forward. VG Gaming getting aggressive. But Chizbug will be here to potentially turn this. Throws out a Frost Blast. Still chasing after June. So they have enough arcade mode. They'll need one more than this to get the kill. But it will force June all the way back. He will finally get to complete his Tranquil Boots. But man, he's been, he's been under a lot of pressure. At yeah. this point, the main bright spots are still the two solos. 430 is far well, but he hasn't managed to shut down the Amber, and they haven't really shut down the other Titan either, so I almost say those two lanes are just a wash place. Yeah, most definitely. I mean, they will be able to scale pretty hard and do a lot with the just general gold gains. I guess it's good that they, they weren't shut down, but all the same, they they have to do something with their ultimates. They have to make the combos happen, whether just going in for a stampede play and getting great initiation, or seeing those chronos and chain us fly. But yeah, try lighting a centaur and only getting the tranquil boots here at almost nine minutes. Not that great. Interesting stun actually hitting on June uh, while farming up the creep wave, but it does cost them some mana, so looks like Wisp will have to farm up that bottle quite readily if they don't feel they have enough. They have two bottles already, so if, what do you think? Is three bottles too many now that there are two runes? I guess one can bottle Crow and the other two can get the runes, but that's assuming you get both the runes. Yeah. Uh, it might... I don't know. I guess it depends how well the heroes use it. I would say if they don't use it... If they don't all use it extremely well, it's probably too much, but... Yeah. I'd honestly say Ember maybe just after the landing phase is over gives the Wisp the bottle so FY can make use of it and Ember doesn't really need it that bad. ET could do the same. They're gonna stun Jude. Nice strike or trench toggling there as they look to go in on him and um, he's brought low and will be finished off in the end. Good chain stun from Beachy and, or chain nuking I should say and they get another kill on this offlane centaur. It puts more and more pressure on the 430 void to deliver in pickoffs but so far he's just been stuck mid trying to farm against super. He was trying to force out a Chronosphere, and uh, almost <laughs> successful in that with this DD room. Yeah, very frustrating. Obviously, Ferrari didn't go for the bottle, so his sustained regen is this magic stick from all the spell spam, and that's about it. So, not the easiest lane for him, and they just they don't have any firm grasp on any particular lane. The Weaver's doing pretty good, though, moving towards this Lincoln Sphere, and yeah, there is going to be a, a lot of value in that, just preventing the silence coming have, up from the Skyrim. Have they gotten every rune? I'm trying to remember if IG have gotten any. Oh, I you get the first two, that's right, but mm -hmm. since that zero minute spawn, I want to say it's, if it hasn't been every rune for Vici, it's been damn close. Yeah, I think maybe one bounty rune went their way, nothing significant. That's, that's kind of ridiculous, mm -hmm. especially with the bounty rune, just give you gold experience for, against a Lich, that's pretty valuable. We'll see, Ice 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 forced to TP off this bottom lane, got a bit aggressive. Yeah. And the poking continues mid lane, super went with the slight, he didn't bother with the chains, 430 does have the stick charges. She's trying to use the bait. But Super's not taking it. They're both just happy to farm. Yeah, Brayden, I would say that Vici Gaming are the ones that really just need to get a little bit more before they can start making things happen across the map, get a relocate up, uh, move Ember towards his first uh, major item, maybe drums, and uh, then they can actually start making things happen. Still, IG have really good late games, so passivity isn't that bad for them either. It just uh, comes down to how they counter-initiate with their big ultis. Lich is now level 6, Cheesebug having a lot of potential if he syncs up with the Void, but uh, they're currently in opposite lanes now. They seem to be joining up a little bit, and they might may try to make a go here on the Ember Spirit. It's going to be tough, though. It's daytime and Super is a hill ward. He's going to have to Chrono like right now. Uh, it's already too late. Yeah, Slide of Fist even hitting Chizmoke. In case he didn't know he was there. He certainly <laughs> does now. And we'll see, like clockwork, Ice 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 is getting ready to set up for that next rune. He'll probably push the lane one more time and then go grab it. Yeah, Spirit gets dropped out. Oh, we'll probably over. see it move soon. Yeah, Eastern jungle, go. some nice stacking going on, triple stack going out for Black with FY's health, and yeah, they're just gonna try to keep farming, keep moving him forward, maybe look for a blink beggar on him. 
That would give them some much needed initiation. Outside of that, all they really have is the Ember, and it is pretty risky to put him in that position. Another Bounty Rune stacked up. This time by Ice 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 in the bottom lane, while Super again picks up a rune at the top side of the map. That one will be a regen for him. And now they make their way bottom. 430 is going to join them. Dire do have this Observer Ward mid. So they saw this rotation, and Ice 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 is in decent position to reveal. Chronosphere might catch out, though. Oh, caught by the Ice Path. This is trouble for Ice Ice Ice. They really can't relocate into this either. Well, They'd be relocating to death, and they'll just let him go. Still four heroes just to get the offlaner. But it is a nice kill. He's gotten a lot out of that offlane. Yeah, Stampede even is a pretty big cooldown there. So, I mean, the nice. right now with the pressure coming in to bring down the other side is nice. We'll do some kills on the board for IG, but they want even more. Super, without Chrono on the field, feels very active, is able to just kind of go in behind this creep wave, clear it out under the tower, just not, not afraid of anything, really. There's a Mask of Madness now on 430, and Radiant that's a timely batch. Maybe that can get the Centaur and Vision for a stomp on Super. He's trying to worm his way into the tree line. Now he gets spawned on, but there's a Mystic Flare to follow this up. This back up of having an easy kill going back the way of each game. I mean, look at, like, you look at the trade. It took a four hero investment just to kill Ice 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 and a Chronos Gear. Mid lane, it takes a Chains and a Mystic Flare. A lower cooldown and a much more, a much less uh, expensive combo in general. Yeah. Our top lane, tier 1's gonna go down for black here. He pops the god strength, gets a little bit of attack speed for a brief tether overcharge, but now they look to maybe relocate. Yeah, they're going in. Jumping in deep, 430, no cross there. Stormbolt's gonna connect to the try to go for the kill down. Okay. The chain frost is there doing good damage, really good damage. Oh. Now the Weaver arrives, Fenrir in trouble. They may lose more than just this. The Wisp trying to bring him back to safety. Will retreat his Fen out to top lane. Nicely played by FY and well, it looked like a total crisis. Turns out okay for them. Yeah. Cane Frost in the jungle, man. It's just absolutely insane what you can accomplish with that spell. And yeah, they're able to turn it one for one. And in the end, with another them double making... rune for Vici, man. We need a rune counter at this point. This is just getting ridiculous. Seriously. Super like oh, a super, though. They got sentry. No. <laughs> Frustrating, man. Imagine if they had a blink with Centaur. <laughs> just, yeah, like the 200 range blink, honestly. Like, he just needs to close distance a tiny bit more, catch Super just a little bit off guard, because he's playing with fire already. Like, he is always in a position where they could pick him, and they're gonna go! Oh, caught up here, found him! Oh, who's found home for him, Caught up by the silence, chased out by LS, and we'll have to point down. He needed another backtrack, didn't get it. And now BG get aggressive, another slight through. Super did not have a chance for that, but the stomp will catch up too. They can go for a double chains again. Oh, they've been woken up. And now, still catching up one. He's probably going down here. Another smack. This time for my size size. He just keeps on clubbing. Plus 168 damage. This guy likes to party. IG, apparently not so much. Super will drive Chispunk back at BG Gaming. Continue their domination. Now leading 11 to 4. Super, oh, he's out of mana. He actually may go down to a tower shot here. Did he spend his gold? Oh, Wisp gonna heal him up. Relocate him out. FY with the meta back at the final hour. I mean, he may just have to go back to suicide, or maybe they bring the whole team back in. There's no Chrono Spear to wait for this. The TP in the Void mid, I don't think they realize that two might come back, but they come into an ice tip now. Does Super get the jump on the There is a time lapse available if need be. The tower mid gets denied, but just looking for more and more aggression. June, Dylan says he tries to go in. The bloodbath continues on the chest bug. Beachy Gaming are just camping mid lane, slaughtering the entirety of IG. Now Super rages forward, another slight can kill off Blue, another nuke, there you go. It's 14 to 4, and they're not even done yet, so they look for Blue, oh, they almost get it with the Astral Spirit. Oh man. IG, this is a tough hill to climb now, please. Close to closing in on 7,500 gold. Fight recap, that's. Oh, damn it. Alright, there we go. I feel like it's more of a gold change than 1800. But... Oh yeah, there were like three different fight recaps, for that, so it's split up for sure. But okay. it's still Vici taking so I like it not just the first fight, but the second and third, just continuing to to dominate, to roll forward, and really use this lot as well. It's a lot of longevity in the IO, even without a bottle. He's providing some great sustainability. And I mean, the first half of the fight, it was just all on the Ember Spirit. It was just super. And to make matters there. worse, they just smoked them their entire war. Oh. <laughs> this game, this. Team. You can't catch a break. Sorry, go ahead. You were talking about the super. 
Yeah, no, he was just absolutely dominant in his movement, his usage of abilities there. He ran out of mana at the end, but even then, Wisp was able to bail him out. But he used his entire mana bar as efficiently as you can in that kind of situation. And it really was just him and Fenrir making things happen. Black and FY were the reinforcements oh, in the third. I, are we going to jinx him? We just might have jinxed oh. him. He gets caught up by a chrono pot of land. There's a macro pyre waiting on chain pot slapped in as well. Wisp relocates in solo. And they're like, oh, this could be free food potentially, but not with Black here. FY, he'll stick up. He gets macked up as well by Ice Ice Ice. So he will be going back soon, though. And it's a one-for-one -one exchange as the Void falls. So even now, when it looks like they get a clean kill, they don't. And the Wisp ends up going down to the Centaur War Runner. I'm uh, not sure. Was that an urn charge that he used? Does he have an urn? No, he doesn't have an urn. Not sure, but either way, Black no. gets stuck. Oh, he's waiting top lane when he yeah. went back for three locate. That's right. Luo now trying to run. He's silenced. Vici gaming. He'll be forced off the fight, while meanwhile, Ice 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 still continues his chase. He gets <laughs> kill on one with the Spirit. He's looking at the Tron kill as well, potentially. No, he decides to back off. Uh, so, so yeah, Wisp ended up going down here uh, when he came back from Relocate, and June was waiting for that. Yeah, exactly. But that's, I mean, the only thing they really get initially, like, obviously they start with super and that was great, but they required the, the shotgun chain frost to the face that is a, still a massive cooldown. Like, it's great to secure your kill. Holy crap, getting 145 seconds of your only major team fight at that stage? Oh, uh, that's just a, a brutal loss, but they felt it was warranted. He's just, he's really big, but it's still a hefty cost, as obviously the, the five breaks up once again, VT proved triumphant. So just really good base really good maneuvering uh, throughout the battlefield and IG just come up wanting every time. Yeah, they do have a link, it's for Luo now. But there are still some solutions for this. Mostly I think it's just the fact that Fiji Gaming can just right click it. Like, they're, they're pretty farmed already. You see Black now picking up uh, a Blink Dagger with God Strength activated. He's going to be hitting for, well, at that point you get, what, plus 100 damage. He's about to be 150. He's going to be hitting for, like, well into the 250-ish range as soon as he cracks 11. And, you know, that's not affecting, affecting the mass attack speed and the Wisp all-up damage. They'll be able to force this Weaver off the fights almost immediately. So even with him, it's, it's almost like he just has to keep on farming for a couple more minutes more. Oh my goodness, Juan is actually like, dead just from Searing Pain's right click. Oh, he might be dead. Another slate of fist. The chains were cooling down. He could spear it forward if he wants to risk this kill. They could relocate it as well. Super. Uh, oh, Mike okay. get caught up by 430. Tano found him. 430 blazed the trap, sets it and delivers. He'll punish Super again. He's saying only I can play under that well. But he gets oh. left. Now they're relocated. If they can get a stun on 430, it will not. Oh, actually, oh. it does follow him. He runs back into it, in fact. The stop coming through now hits two. FY dropping low. We might finish him off. We're gonna lose two. They may end up losing three. Black barely able to retreat. That was not quite as clear as what they're hoping for, Blaze. Definitely not. The, finally, the, the face is void, Chronosphere. They can uh, not only get the kill, but get it without committing too much. So that after they get the Ember kill, they can follow it up with more, which is really important there. Obviously, this still is the Lich to the other token, but yeah, so sometimes you just can't get out unscathed. In this position, they're just happy to get some major kills and get some gold on the board as Weaver farms up. Luo has gotten 123 CS throughout this bloodbath of a game, so he is going to be able to build up towards a major item very soon. We'll see if he wants to go for something like the old Dezo, or if he wants to move into maybe crit. But uh, no matter the case, he needs to get some offensive potential to right-click down. Uh, these lower Mercados, I mean, they're very squishy without the war cry, but it's uh, still them maneuvering and just uh, making it so they can survive just by being in the right position. Yeah, they were kind of trying to set up a trap there behind Black, who was super also joining him, and they look for Fenrir now. If they can get off this initial storm hole. That might be enough. Centaur, meanwhile, actually double edges a creep wave. That leaves just both helpless. And they'll just put the Lich on the altar and retreat. Yeah. Now, one thing I want to mention is that the Stampede hasn't really felt like an impactful spell, mostly because of how fast Veach can be in turn. Popping the Warcry, getting like the Astro Spirit move buff, Heather move speed buff. They can chase even against 522 movement speed heroes. It's not something you often get to say, but in this case, it's absolutely true. They have so many ways of boosting their movement speed. They're really on target with just their ability to keep pace. And yeah, now they go ahead, do the good old God strength on tier one, but June has some That's the stop off. FY's in position for a relocate out. They need to chrono him, but 430 gets storm bolted. Black heads to the north. Now the silence of the 430's gotta get out of range of this Mystic Player and the Elder Titan Earth Splitter. Jesus, he's like, he's running for the apocalypse right now just to survive. 
so let alone going in on the offensive. This just distance from death, damage from distance oh, of yeah. <laughs> to killing the Lich. No Chronosphere into Lich ultimate, and Chuan is trapped behind the tower, has no teleport scroll, he just joined this bottom lane. And now with the sight of his hit, I think they're like, he can't be alone, right? There's no way Chon's alone, but they'll just let him walk out. Could have definitely killed him there, but they didn't know, I guess. Yeah, yeah I'm just saying. I mean, they did bring Ferrari down to 50 HP with their just perfect follow through from stun to silence. And then they actually almost the kick him over with burn, but yeah, in the end, uh, they just go and retreat. They don't get their Arti combo off, and it's getting to make a break time for IG. They really need to get this Corona plus Chain Frost, at least in, if not the next fight, then the fight after that, or VG are just going to keep running over this game. Man, what happened to Wisp's face? Well, or, well not face, okay. whatever, you, yeah. whatever you yeah. call this. Wisp is apparently dead. <laughs> That's probably, you've, you've killed our Io. Celestial, I don't know. Give it back. Give it back, please. Black will look for the blink in here, bottom lane. There is still a Chronosphere, and there is still a Chain Frost. This could be poor for him, but he blinks out! He dodges the Centaur stuff, then they go back in and shoot this damage from distance. They managed to kill the Centaur at the start of the fight. It's a great Chronosphere from 430. Chain Frost bouncing into the fray. The Wisp relocate out just seconds late, it looks like. Well, they'll end up losing Super for this Black not trying to retreat out as well. FY. We'll be going back a little bit far, well, just a few inches forward, I guess. And in the end, it's, it's still a two for one. And Chain Frost just had so many creeps inside the Chronosphere, they couldn't get enough focus damage of the heroes. There was also a lot of Flame Guard to absorb it. So in the end, they don't get anything but this guy who already dropped his payload and just wasn't really going to contribute anything more. So taking off the Void again, it really is IG that are looking for a big comeback because right now they are just so far down and out. Uh, the stuns are connecting legit, and this Ember Spirit now has a Battle Fury to slide this around with. So any clumping from IG is heavily punished. And they're just so, they're pretty damn old in every life. Speed feels pretty useless this game because they're always just being changed. It seems like there's always a multiple hero spend stun, but if they don't have Kronos here, Chain Frost, I can see IG really having trouble getting killed. And even when they do, they still have defensive relocate from F1, which can so often bring an ally to safety. Now, Beachy Gaming rotate toward mid lane. Uh, they also have not stacked the jungle recently, they've been too busy farming heroes, but if they want to slow this game down, they've got two heroes with Cleave now, and it's really IG, you've got the pressure on them to make some plays plays. It, it just doesn't feel like they can sit back at this point. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. I mean, they have to test something, but it's so hard to do when Cheesebug is still only level 10. Like, every Chain Frost you commit takes your team fight out of the picture for an extended period of time. So I honestly think they're in farm mode, at least for a short time frame, uh, until Vici forces it. Once they get level 11 on the Lich, once they get Dead later on the Weaver, as he is building it, uh, then that will be the time where they have the most potential damage output. But for now, they just don't feel confident in any fights they can take. Even though they do need to make something happen, They it's controlled aggression. They need to make sure that they do it at the right time, and that's not right now. So... Little B God's got some quick reactions, man. Black has been on the ball with these blink outs. Oh yeah. And Bernie is casting this on the Jenny stream, so uh, I'm, I'm sure he's been suitably impressed by one of the players I think who looks up to him the most in the scene. Mm -hmm. Black absolutely adores Bernie. Like it, honestly, he's like all all that the guy will talk about if you ever get a chance to talk to him in a landmark. Very nice guy. But yeah, um, I'm sure he's he's honored that he's getting to have a good game in front of Bernie's watchful eyes. Yeah, most definitely. I mean, you could argue that this Centaur should be eating his link so that there is no potential to dodge, but no, nah, it's just really great play from Black that's keeping control of the game, not being caught out. And I mean, even if he did get caught out, he is almost tanky enough to be able to endure it with the help of the Wisp, but in this position, there's no reason to risk it. He just outmaneuvers his opponents, and he's landing stuns while the others are not. This is a big problem for IG, is they have very limited control. Peachy Gaming will go into the pit now. They've got God Strength ready, and they will begin the rush. The question is if there's even an effort to contest here from IG. 430 can start moving, but this rush is actually taking a decent while. Black not hitting as hard as they would like, and they don't have any minus armor, I guess, is the main issue here, Blaze. So they may not be able to do this quickly enough, and now they're in position. You can see the entirety of IG starting to roam their way towards the pit while Peachy Gaming. Back off, they'll push up the lanes and they will, will try not to clump in that ever so small new Roshan pit. 
Hmm. So, still not finding the time window. They actually might be the ones that are pushed in against very shortly. But, yeah, for right now, at least I've got the Desolator on the Weaver. And he's just got to make a count. He has to get a lot of right clicks off through his team fight. If he's not taking advantage of the fact that items can proc, he's actually essentially just been straight nerfed based on the generated attack cooldown increase. So. What was the, the exact change? If not, I can just look it up real it quick. It was 2.5 to 3 seconds, so, just, uh, I mean, it sounds really small, but a 20% increase in cooldown for your second attack is actually really huge. Yeah, and, I mean, Desolator still has some utility, but besides the, the fact that it's not on proc, it obviously helps you push really well. Um, and there is still a tier 1 up bottom, and a tier 1 up top, but... That said, actually they still have all three tier ones, jeez. Yeah, this is 27 minutes, I mean, in theory this Desolator could bring a lot of gold in for the team, but in practice they gotta get to those towers and right click them, which has been a tall order against Beachy so far, who are now looking to make their way bottom. Let's see if they go for this one. They've got Fender off in the tree line, he's dropped the Sentry Ward just to confirm there's nothing up the cliff. And now they'll drop a lane ward down as well, and it mm, looks fine. like IG will retreat. So, yeah, with that lane sentry down. Oh, I heard God's strength here. They, they're going for Roche, just black in the pit all by himself. Now FY joins the party. He doesn't have any earn charges, though. But he this has is one a sneaky earn. one. Yeah, I don't know if he could do it without the heal, though. He's got yeah. stick charges. No, no I mean, you work that would help, but he still he didn't have any healing. Like, if they gave FY the bottle, I think that's manageable, but not as it was. Maybe Ice 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 can heal them. Can, can he get close enough to heal them from uphill? That's a good question. I, I honestly am curious about the mechanism radius from that perspective. Hard to call. Maybe he could have passed the bottle off to the Wisp before she went in. I mean, there's <laughs> some small things that could have been done, but it still would take a while, and it is still pretty risky. And, well, that's going to prop Black to say, screw it, man. I want some lifesteal. Now they'll be able to rush with the next God Strain, if IG don't contest. But <laughs> that is a big if. IG or... We're always getting farmed. And I do worry a bit for Vici Gaming just because this Weaver is so big. FY has a Ghost Sector, so he won't be an easy kill, but if there's a nice Chronosphere and Lua's able to just drop the swarm on four or five heroes, and, and they, they, they caught three last time, and then just mm -hmm. DPS down your Scarlet Mage, maybe even your Elder Titan, that's a big chunk of Vici Gaming's damage down off the bat. And they can be kited and controlled quite easily if this Ember is out of the fight as well, who is still pretty damn squishy. Yep, so, so they're going right back in, and uh, they have the God Strength, it's a uh, short cooldown, but I think IG, even in that 60 second frame, are a, a lot better off in trying to contest it if they do move now. The fact is, they have the Chain Frost level 2 up on the Lich, they, uh, this Void is in a really good spot, item-wise, but they just, they don't have the map vision. So if they go into that part of the map, they're walking into a completely blocked territory, the Swarm finally comes out, but it's not a change for Chain State. In fact, they might lose the Jakira for this one. Call back and custom shot. Now an Earth Splitter to zone him back. Oh, wow. Who gets slowed from long range. But now they jump forward again with a spear coming out from Super. He really wants to commit to this. Well, too bad for him. Stampede will be used to disengage. Nice ice path there. Yeah, very predictive uh, Earth Splitter, though, in that situation. Just making sure you can connect with them. Of course, the same beat is a shorter cooldown, so not the big deal, but still shows the move prediction trying to get you game. They know where the enemy is moving, they know where to jump them, and IG. They just have to prevent it, at least weather the storm, find their opening, and uh, make use of this void. He's almost 16, he's got 3,800 banked up, Ferrari, all eyes on you, man. IG continue to push through. They have a God Strength ready in 13 seconds. The BKB does come out of the void, and this answer is a lot. The Sandstone, the Mystic Flare, the Skyrath Mage Silence. He is guaranteed to go off the promo, unless he gets juked by the Blink Dagger, or maybe by a Zout from Dooker. But this gives 430 a much more confidence that at least he will not die if he jumps down. Let's see if he goes for it. Glyph now popped. IG still hanging back, reluctant to engage here while well, it's up to Lua to kind of punish this one. We're seeing the creep wave down, they still don't make the move, they actually get a stop on Super! But there's always that relocate out, and so they're just not going to bother even trying to go on it. And just buy time Good positioning from FY throughout that push. Oh yeah. Very, very experienced Wisp player. Like, if you're looking at, even across the world, Wisp players, this guy's probably in the top four. Like, he just has so much prime yeah. this hero. There's a couple of those. I would say, like, Lamb was, sorry, MMI was fantastic, FY, 
Mm-hmm. Um, certainly, No Tail might probably be the number one on that list. Um, and I'm trying to think, who else would you put up there? Uh, Extinct is a really good West player too, okay. from SEA. So it's funny because if this was a year ago, there wouldn't be like, a, well, maybe a year and a half ago, there wouldn't be a single Chinese player on that list or Asia <laughs> player, I should say. Oh yeah, they hated that hero so much. But Man, Black has just been on the ball with these blinks out. Not once has he gotten caught. Oh, oh, now I jinxed him, man. This might be my third fix in as many days. But there's a double searing chance to connect. And Black is thinking about to go in. Oh, no. Chronosphere could find him. FY's got to stay back. He's got to reload. Oh, no, he didn't get the timing right. He didn't get well, the tether off. And cost he was speaking speed. Oh, okay. Never mind. Well, he tried for the relocate anyway. But obviously can't. So a ways to relocate, I suppose. But the effort was there. And 430 will make his way out. If he didn't BKB, he might have just been nuked down anyway. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I don't know if he could have lived through that. Just he got too low before 430 jumped in. Definitely. Tough position to be in here. They can't really... A Vici game can't afford to let up here. I mean, giving away a kill like that obviously gives a lot of gold in favor of the team that has such a disadvantage as well. Uh, their Aegis is going to be expiring in two minutes' time. And finally, it's just Weaver's getting big. He's going to have... Out, though. He's been hexed up. Super walking onto him. With the Elventide Astral Spirit, he really drops quickly. One more slight will finish him off. Oh, and uh, as Chet is rightfully reminding us, players, we forgot someone very important. We forgot EGM. <laughs> Hasn't oh, been yeah. seen playing as much Wisp lately, but man, that guy does play one hell of a mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Most definitely. No, they'll push in now. They're gonna use an Amber Spirit up on the high ground with the chains coming through its spawn to try and force the issue. But the full push is not here yet. They're not completely committed to this one. Super's starting to get chunked down. A lot of damage from that Weaver. And yeah. You see Super is very, very squishy. Slide of fist through Chronosphere, oh. down to FY, also got Fenrir. Mask of his pop, he gets changed, but he BKBs down that and then continues to pursue. Slowed down now by the Elder Tech S or uh, Split Earth Splitter, but there's actually no remnants on Super. They could pop the Aegis fairly easily if they want to. I was looking for that aggression. Like it's will be popped by the Storm Bolt, but there's no follow up beyond that. So it's just a, a difficult position now for Vici Gaming to really seal the deal in the game. They have some great carries, they had some great momentum, but they need a heck pick off, honestly, to be a confident here. Blinkin' Spear has cooled down. That stiff will go for the hero. Black Blinky over where the ice path was. Now the stand oh, being oh, used as he's forced to retreat out. And Super will attempt now to jump onto June. Brings him out. He still has Aegis available. June can retreat. He ends up losing Aegis, gets the kill before his last dying breath will come back now. No Chronosphere. Do they think about going for a Bash Lord? Play. I'll just back off. Yeah, but Super's big now. Uh, he has the Daedalus coming out on the Courier right now. Even without the Aegis, he's happy to kind of stand and deliver. Just has to worry about his low armor. Nine armor is not great. As we mentioned, the agility on this hero is just not that substantial, so he doesn't get it naturally. He is a glass cannon, and uh, yeah, we are the one to try to shatter him. We do see that he's got the Demon Edge. Could be an MKB, could be a Daedalus. Either one will proc on the Geminite now, but... Both uh, will be the needed enhanced physical damage. Now you're spinning heads out towards the bottom lane. We'll have Super potentially joining him soon with a haste turn. He drops his spirit to cover the path of his retreat, while FY will start stacking Ancients. And it seems Vichy Gaming are starting to fear the Chronosphere more and more. Mm -hmm. And I think rightfully so. In theory, that relocate out can work. You have to worry about back using his BKB at the wrong time. And the thing is, these here, this point hits fast enough, and that, now the Weaver starts to hard enough that even if you want to do that relocate play, it's possible it'll just be too late. They they can burst this Ember down very quickly. The fan a bit tankier if he if he gets off his War Cry, but still with Mask of Madness, he also gets shredded. So it's yeah. it's really tough for Fy to make those relocates happen in practice. I think. Let's see how fast this tower down bottom drops. It would be one they'd love to contest, but they don't have Fortify, and it's just getting right click so damn quick. Uh, like, if the Jakiro came in and dropped a Macro Pyre, then he'd probably just have been picked off by the Blink Initiation. They can't half-ass this. They have to go in with full intentions to defend, and they're just gonna in let their last Outer Cure Tower fall. If they want Luo to finally finish up on that Daedalus, I believe, and then they'll be able to try to take a fight. So he's got strength there, they're going to engage, and it's a long route back to the base for 430. He's going to have to TP, he's keeping from the northern side. I believe this will spot it, Stop comes in, connects all black, nearly dropping oh. even the Chrono Spirit is deployed, it's not needed! With the Mask of Madness just melts, the relocate will be there to at least save him. Oh, not a far relocate though, Super just sent a little bit back, and 430 even thinks about a leap in again. 
They're gonna come back after these messages. 430 caught as they return right into the ice pet that was waiting. The double hit stop. IG with the huge turn of events. Oh my goodness. And Mask of Madness Sven just exploded to the, 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 the Weaver right clicks. Like, the Chrono would have caught him, but he was already dead. Wasn't even needed. Yeah, exactly. The 30% damage enhancement is just absolutely absurd there. Uh, it doesn't look like Ferrari you know, wasted his BKB like after the relocate came away. There was no value in it, but uh, at the same time, he kind of used that as a bait. They saw the BKB down, they searing chained him, thought they had it, but they put so much focus on bringing down the Void, they forgot what they were jumping back into. And that's uh, Jakiro and Centaur. They're the two heroes that are going to easily punish uh, relocate rebound on two. And yeah, they certainly did here. IG are pulling ahead massively compared to what we've seen so far this game. The experience is actually back in their court, and the gold graph is certainly tending that way as well. Leaping forward as Black charges in. This is going to end up being on kind of a funny Benny Hill-style situation. Now X on the June. I'll try to retreat out. He's got a force step. No, he wants to go in. Back on the Black. He goes, without the Wisp to protect it, it's too late, perhaps. Well, nice relocate once again. FY with the clutch saves, but that last auto attack, oh, not enough. It brought him damn low. But this Sven is honestly just... He's, he's feeling too squishy. I don't know what you do about that, Blaze. Like, maybe you even have to get rid of this Mask of Madness and just go for, like, your heart tank spin kind of build. Yeah, I mean, Dominator definitely would provide him a lot more EHP by comparison, but I think, yeah, just going for heart in general and being more cautious about when you mom is going to be probably the right course of action. Not necessarily selling it, but hanging on to it and only using it when you know that you're going to be able to uh, survive through it in full. Maybe if you have the Wisp Overcharge active and you pop your weak AB, that's when you Mask of Madness. With the They're going in. With They're getting aggressive now. Luo, with the Swarm and just two auto attacks, almost enough to bring out Fenrir. They lob in the Chain Toss from distance. It felt is back the right way. It could have bounced between black and, and yeah, Ice Ice Ice, but happen, honestly. at least guarantees them the one kill. I don't know if they would have been able to kill those two, but maybe mm -hmm. they get one more that way instead. And at 430, looks for the leap in. He could catch the Wisp and the understand right now. FY, he has a haste turn off, but that's not going to help him if he gets bad. He does. Chronosphere? Chronosphere? Oh, gets Hex? The Hex by Ice 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 yeah. explodes 430. These Mask of Madnesses are really not working out for anyone this game. Oh, end up getting the turn. That quick hex from Ice 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 just saved Vici from what could have been a complete catastrophe the other way. Absolutely. MVP right there, and uh, yeah, he's going to be able to build up towards other really good control items. He's got 3,100 banked up, can look towards the Agnum Scepter that we saw that previous game, or really whatever his heart's desire is. If he thinks Halberd will help, that's a, a decent course of action, the problem being that Weaver and Void already have BKB, so they are starting to dwindle in the numbers. Eight seconds on Void's BKB, as well as Weaver's, and uh, yeah, it just really comes down to what you're looking for as far as control, but definitely need that, or just or as the AC would obviously help against all this. They're going in though. This rush is well, not going to be contested. Okay, just scout me. It's going to say you kind of want your void there for that, but he's still dead. So the Aegis will go the way of Vici Gaming, and they, they can maybe recover. But damn it, Blaze, this is a very even game right now. 2,500 gold lead for the Dire. Experience lead that was going Vici Gaming's way is now basically back to zero. And so I guess at this point, it's just all about the Chrono. If this Chrono catches out the Wisp plus one, and the Void gets off his BKB, he's going to kill the Wisp, and he's probably killing another one as well. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure how he can win a fight from there without a buyback on the Wisp. So, and if the Chrono misses on the other side, then I think Vichy gave him all the fighting shot. It's not all on 430 by any means, but a lot of it is on him right now. Yeah, it sounds weird, but I almost think that FY should go for an Ethereal Blade from this Ghost Scepter. Build that up, try to just E-Blade whoever the Black is targeting. Yes, there is a lot of magic damage, and the Macro Fire could make that just as bad of a decision as a good one, but long term, the Void is the one that's scaling hard. The Weaver is critting hard soon, and yeah, you need to have some better control against that. Uh, we'll see. No decision from Ice 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 yet. He's probably, yeah, he got the most current gold next to the Ember Spirit. It hasn't decided on anything. I'm curious if it's going to be like a AC or a Vlad or Halberd or Ags. I mean, there's so many different ways you can go with this hero. The Axe does sound pretty nice against the Weaver hitting this hard and a Void, but they are very mobile carries, so it's difficult to guarantee you'll hit them with your Splitter. Yeah. Hmm. I think you can time lapse like... the Disarm too, but I'm not, I haven't tested that personally. Okay. Hmm. I mean, Shiva's and, Shiva's and AC would kind of be like your safe choices that guarantee your team some support in the fight. The Aura, the minus attack speed Aura, the slow, 
obviously helpful. And uh, same for the AC, just help you to survive against this draw right click potential. But they'll get an AC on the spend, so that kind of rolls it out off the mat in that direction. And then I guess the question is well, does he go Shiva's? Refresher, even? Hmm. I mean, you could go Ags and then end the Refresher. Maybe yeah. that's the build. You get the upgraded R Splitter, then a double Hex and a double R Splitter. That could be pretty potent. Yeah, I think there's a, a lot of potential with that, and there's very little that the enemy can do about it. Like, you get pulled in by one, if you time it right, you're going to get pulled in by the second one. A lot of damage, a lot of con positioning control, but the trick is to get them caught in the first one in the first place, because it is a very projected animation. Stampy was used, but Super was there with the chains to prevent June's initiation. Couldn't get off the blink, and now they don't have a Stampede for the main push. Black Ooh. hammering away at this tier 3 tower. Beachy Gaming with one pin. They're one away from moving on to the Grand Finals where the old boys are lurking. Black gets caught up by Stomp, and now quickly the Weaver chunks him down. He will barely be kept alive by FY the Mech at the final hour. Not enough! The Chrono Spear! It caught them both! What a Chrono for 430! Our Splitter was there. It's enough to stop the aggression for a second, oh. but only for a second. Then they'll lose their Ember. He's got a Spear a little bit farther out. And 430 chasing this pesky old whip. He does not want to come back in for a reload out. They'll have to sack Super. He jumps in again. They get the kill on the whip. It's four bodies hitting the deck. The Agate Acceptor was being delivered. And even the Courier Rifle. Blake oh, pulling down. Couldn't get in deeper for that. Man, if they lost the, the Agate Acceptor on the Elder Titan on top of that. Oh my goodness, Blaze. Yeah. 5,000 gold swing. 7,500 experience swing. Okay, not quite 5,000, 4,300, 40, but still a lot of freaking gold. Yeah, and this comeback was 100% earned. It wasn't just given away by Vici Gaming, it was High G making the plays happen, the Chronosphere is coming out on exactly the right target, Luo just uh, playing the farm game so carefully. He's like farming the top lane, farming the bottom lane, whenever he's not needed, immediately TPing back whenever he is. He's even now pushing down on the bottom tier 2 tower, and there's not much that can be done, honestly, against him. The uh, backdoor protection, of course, will keep it up. But still, like, his movements in general across the map, getting the just this absurd gold value he's earned every penny and of course the the crits are now really showing what he can accomplish with this physical right click yeah and i just want to point out that Lua has 330 yes he has been massively out for me everyone he hasn't died he's type 0 and 6. 6.82 was changed significantly for those who were sleepy when it got patched the the swing the rubber band effect has been reduced massively for gold it's like cut in half from what it was and it was already cut a bit the day before for the, the single hero kills, so... A lot of this is just what would have happened in 6.81 to begin with. Sure, there's a component that comes from the new patch, but... I, I really do, I'm not getting that feeling like I did for some of the games the other day. I'm like, eh, I don't... I mean, Jesus, that was like one fight. Ideas won, like, multiple team fights in a row, basically wiping Nietzsche. I agree with you. Well deserved. They blink it out into black. They're looking for another initiation. Now the Chrono came up through, but it was dodged away from No map. Do not F one gets caught out in it. I thought he was gonna relocate to safety, but not able to do so. Did he relocate back into the Chrono? Not even sure. Chain Frost bouncing here and there. They'll lose their Jakiro. Super gets caught out now by double edge. That's gonna be four heroes dead buyback time. Let's count them. Weaver chasing Ice Ice Ice. Doesn't have an MKP, no bash. We'll barely make it back to base, but that might be it. Three buybacks on the Radiant, only the Ember with buyback on the Dire, and judging by his lack of buying back, they might have just... Well, okay, Blaze, here's what they're saying. They're saying, they have, we have Tier 2 standing, so at most we just lose one lane of Rax, unless they want to go for the throne. Do I actually want to go for the throne is the question. Oh, they do. If they had mana on Ferrari, they certainly would. He's got a refresher coming out on the courier, but he only has 225. He's not going to be able to use it. Just waiting for that 30 second chrono. But for now, they want to force buybacks and then disengage, and they have the stampede to do that. So whether or not they're pressured to retreat, they have the stampede. They can kind of force as much as they want, and Super is the first one. He had a ton of gold stocked up, now down to 2400 as he does buy back. And Lua is... has 9,000 gold. I don't even know what you buy at this point. <laughs> Oh so, my goodness. Go down the aisle, man. You got a shopping list. <laughs> it takes a little bit of everything. On the retreat, I have to lose Twan, it looks like. Caught up by uh, the Wisp and the, the Ember Spear, and he'll go down to a secondary slit of fist. Also, potentially rushing could spawn in a minute and a half to two minutes. But, um, for some reason. Oh, is that just because he doesn't have mana? Oh, okay. I thought it was like on deactivate. I was like, wait, is this even the oh. Void's Refresher? But yeah, he just didn't have mana. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say that's very weird. 
But um, as far as the relocate in the fight, I believe it was just canceled by the Chronosphere. Any disables during the relocate process will negate it. So I don't think he actually FY got the relocate through. And obviously that's just uh, slight timing, great movements. Slight timing, I guess. Yeah, not uh, bad for him, but also really good Chrono positioning and timing from Ferrari, just making sure that they couldn't retreat, couldn't get out of that position. I mean, hell, he had a zoning aspect on Black, where he essentially had a brick wall to retreat into. He had no choice but to head back towards his base right into uh, the time bubble. So, yeah, it's just these Chronos from Ferrari. I honestly haven't had the pleasure of witnessing Ferrari Void firsthand, but this is just absolutely insane from this guy and with the refresher orb the potential is limitless yeah that's that's where it gets really tricky even if you use your one relocate then it just drops the chrono on you when you return and then you just die right so maybe he just maybe you could just send the wisp back only and, and then the wisp buys back and then you could deal with it that way which currently there is a buyback on wisp but it just presents problems and all these things sound great in practice but as we can see the cold hard reality of chronosphere can often interrupt it the best laid plans of mice and men. So with the refresher, he also has an extra BKB charge. So that's 11 seconds of immunity and also a second activation, which in many matchups won't matter. But against the Elder Titan, very well might. We haven't really seen the use of this Earth Splitter plus Ags so far. But if it does connect with him, he's going to want to be able to activate this BKB a second time. So actually pretty valuable to have this item on him at this point of the game. And uh, from now, from here on out, it just really comes down to the engagements. If each gaming, they might want to look at a base race play. Oh, I'm gonna go in now. They're smoked. They're about to jump black. He's up the cliff. He's gotta blink way fast. But they stampede forward. Do they commit fully to this? He's got a BKB to dodge oh. it. Oh, doesn't even force out the BKB. And Rush is not up for a long time. This is, yeah, you know, this is the max Rush and respawn. I believe it's like five seconds short of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they'll put a, a beetle in the pit, but they're not going to be seeing him spawn anytime soon. And uh, yeah, just a uh, little move around with his runes. He's got the butterfly, so these these losers are even dodging auto attacks. Like they have some crazy HP. But yeah, in the end, uh, Weaver is just in a position where he can absolutely dominate the game. He's got the the insane right click damage potential. He could consider a rapier, honestly. Like he could look at that as an option once he. You moves really in. you don't need these treads anymore. Weaver is like the best hero in the game to not have boots on. Because mm -hmm. you can just always buy back time lapse and you've got yeah. Sakuchi to move around anyway in fights. You keep courier BOTs out on the battlefield just in case you have to TP back to base, but you don't, yeah, you don't need the item actually on your person as you can just move all about. Stampede plus Sakuchi. It's not even just one max movement speed skill, it's two. And the push will commence in earnest. Vichy nice. Gaming. One lane of Rex down. They now will lose their tier twos. I doubt we see them defend this. Just trying to slow I don't know down. About this push. fortify, honestly, they don't get it back because there is no tier one to kill. So they're going to just be losing out pretty heavily with the fact that they can't lift their base. I think if you're IG, you just even go do the same to the top lane. As soon, well, I guess you have to worry about the rush respawn. Yeah. If you get the ages, then you go do that, and then you could think about high ground. But yeah, for now, they'll probably want to stick nearby. There is an MKB on your Ember. And he is pretty damn big, but I just worry for Super's ability to get off a Sleight of Fist. Like, you get in range for Sleight of Fist, you're basically in range to be Chronosphered at that point. Mm -hmm. And it's just about if you jump out in time or not. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. He's got no buyback now. I mean, he did have a timer of a minute and a half anyways, but now he has no gold for it in any capacity. This is an all-in play from him. He knows he needs to kill the Weaver, and the MKB is the only tool that allow him to do this, but comes at the cost. One Chrono, This is and this is good oh, game. Oh, the smoke is now revealed. Chizbug into the tree line. will drop Frost Armor 430, who was waiting for a jump from the other side. He got the Chrono spin off of two. Oh. The chain for the bounces. What a combination. The tether was at the wrong time. FY caught. And Black dead! Black dead as well! It's falling out of fallen! GG! In an instant! Oh my goodness! Look Nothing at the graph, went man. their way in that fight. Wisp tried to relocate out, hit the Chronosphere, and then the Chain Frost bounced between two. It couldn't have gone more wrong in the end for I or for Beachy Gaming. That went from oh 8,000 gold advantage for Vici Gaming up to over 14,000 for IG. The comeback is real and legitimately earned 100%. It was IG clawing their way back into this game Lua with great movement across the map, farming just insanely well, not giving up a single...